to this uh, 47th film in our little series button of the month and uh, I always say that we're gonna do something completely different and uh, today we are uh, last film was this little pig with some new stuff uh, some new materials that I think improve uh, the way of tying this uh, kind of flies uh, today we're gonna do something that uh, has uh, become uh, popular last few years flash wings and um, it's like it was something new and uh, meeting my old body hokanooling we laugh a bit uh, because um, I'm gonna show you flash wings from early 80s uh, we fished pure flash on light tubes on the Galfos uh, already 83, 84, 85 and uh, actually meeting uh, John and Lee Wolf uh, many years after we were uh, remembered as those flash fly or flash wing guys you can see how <coughs> ugly these flies are I, I would say they are ugly we tried to tie in uh, bunches of flashaboo and to stiffen it up with a little bit of bucktail make it not tangle but you can see this will tangle like hell and these old flash flies they were effective for sure but um, you see how they look like they look like shit now and uh, they were tricky to fish and um, easy to tie but um, for us at this time flashable was something new flashable came in I think Hawken actually was pioneering taking flashable into his flies already late 70s I think uh, but to tie good flash wing flies you need to think about a few things what you want is of course the flashy appearance but you also want to have uh, a fly that does not tangle so much and that behaves the way you want and you look at this I'm going to tie this Mickey Blue version on the flash wing today you look at this fly and can see how the wing is still stable there and uh, it will not tangle uh, the way the old flies did broad profile and um, well a nice very mobile uh, version of the very very flashy flies sometimes uh, especially early seasons they love flash but um, later on maybe you have to be careful okay uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna tie this fly sorry I got a little cold here but I'm gonna tie this fly on a TTT and uh, <clears throat> maybe there's some um, a few words to be said on tying TTTs or BTTs and TTTs became fast very popular because they added a bit of weight uh, when it comes to early season flies um, I think it works like this you get your fly line down uh, below the heavy current and you fish in a piece of water which is quite calm but where there are a lot of rocks and you have to adjust line and weight the fly in a way that you actually will fish the fly in a good depth but also without it collapsing through the current and you only get snags so I would fish the TTT on places where I don't break through where I can't really go down uh, and uh, deep enough and I will fish the BTT where I can where I get through the fast water and I get my fly in that smooth calmer water between the uh, close to the bottom 
where the early fish tend to lie. But um, make sure you have both. And TTTs became fast popular. BTTs, yes, the last couple of years people have been finding out and understanding how very effective that light fly with the broad profile can be. Okay, talking and talking, but there is a lot of things to be said. Uh, let's start tying now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to tie on uh, the largest TTT and I'm going to do it on the purple one with uh, magenta extra small using my new little tool here that's be with you shortly a little plier uh, where I'll I'll grab the plastic and pull it through a bit and uh, it needs to be this tight to get to create a very strong fly and uh, melt this a bit just to get an edge wait until it gets uh, strong enough for me to pull down the TTT on there and put it on in the device uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use um, black 12 volt thread I use a lot of 12 volt and I'm gonna use all this part now on this uh, TTT and I'm also gonna put some of the stuff in front it's gonna be a lot of material a lot of bulky material so uh, I'll have to try to do it in the correct way okay <clears throat> look at this I, I tied you can see how the flash does not collapse and uh, taking the flash which is also a new product coming soon are what we call flash wing flash you can see how this to be able to swim it needs to be soft but if you have it like this on the tube, it will for sure tangle and be really ugly. So you need to put something underneath. And I use uh, <clears throat> a stiff uh, Antron material. It's in our uh, packs. Uh, and uh, it will probably be something we will sell in the near future. Uh, and uh, but you can use any stiffer antron material to create an underwing. Oops, put it here. And uh, oh, that was a bad one. I started tying where cutting where I already cut before, talking and not looking. Okay, so it's like this and you can see how this has been cut and I need to taper and make this look good so I get a fairly uh, thick but also tapered underwing. So, and I take this and I look at it so I think it's good enough and I put it in quite long so it will hold up the flash even where I have the hook and I spread it over the TTT and I can use quite a bit of thread now on this fly I don't have to be careful at all look at this make sure it's quite even and I then cut this off and uh, it's going to tie a big fly most of the flash wings are big actually been looking out to social media seeing some of the time flies on flash wings nothing i have used but they look interesting so okay so i'm gonna put on the first little part of the flash wing here and um, don't be afraid to take a lot of flush. This is our Mickley mix. This is not our SSS flush. This is the, the new flush coming called, called um, Flashwing flush. Look at this. Make sure it's 
tapered so everything is not same length here looks good and I tie this in make sure it's about the same length as the underwing and I put some thread on a little bit away from the uh, actual TTT make sure it's wide and instead of cutting this I will take those and I will double them back and make sure I get a few of those down also on the sides Oop, I have to pull it back and work your thread over towards the TTT and you will spread it out and you will have some shorter fibers like that too okay <clears throat> a really flashy fly so i can take our glitz dubbing and i can put on the glitz and i can brush it like hell but we have actually uh, made a new material that is coming too soon and that is a dubbing brush from our glitz material there will be uh, a dubbing brush from our dubbing coming too I will use this and again a little good for you guys that buy our packs is that you will get some of this new stuff before we actually have it for sale uh, I take this and I make sure I get most of the fibers uh, backwards and I pull it down close to the TTT and I will need just a few turns here two or three and I think two turns will be enough on this this is not going to be a 20 centimeter it's going to be like a 12 15 centimeter fly and I tie it in and the good thing with using a dubbing brush instead of our dubbing is that you will have the fibers pointing out a little more than what you get when you dub it on and you brush it tangles a bit and the fibers are not as straight and <clears throat> this creates a little more volume our dubbing brushes will come out in three sizes so you will have a big one like this for our really big flies or the ones where you want a wider huckle you can see this is a huckle but this is not a huckle that will swim very well it will move in fast current of course but it will help creating that volume and you press it against the TTT and it opens up uh, what I do now is that I take the second bunch of flash and uh, as always I will um, uh, divide the wing and uh, look so I get enough here not too much you can see it's a big hank of flush there and I spread this between my fingers so it's wide look at the tapering I have some shorter ones here I like to have these spread so I don't get them on one side and I want to have few long fibers and I hold this in and it's the same here as on the hair wing you look at the taper so you get a thin wing in the back here and you hold it and uh, tie it in and now it's a lot of material it's easy for my thread to just go down on the extra small I don't want that and uh, looking so it's wide this is about an inch or two three centimeters wide and I cut this I don't uh, double this back again I could do that to make an even fatter fly but um, you know 
Doubling back is good because you secure material. There's a few fibers hanging around here. And we will have to cut this off afterwards and take make things clean. Uh, okay, and here I always take a bit of glue and put a little bit of glue on here. I don't have to be very careful. I can put on enough glue so I really secure this. And uh, looks deadly to me. And then <clears throat> jungle cork cytus. And this is, is soon over, but I'm not going to promise you uh, to have this out at any date. I've done that mistake too many times in my life. But our new, new jungle cock is on the way. Okay, taking two fiber, two feathers, and uh, start with the one on my side. This was a little damaged, but I think it will do good. Make sure it's long and tie in close to the wing. It's fairly easy to do this when you put a bit of, of uh, glue on. The glue will help holding this in the correct position. And I take the next one. And uh, normally I just uh, twist the fly in the vise, but we've been doing that on a couple of films and then we lose the focus. And you will write me saying, why isn't this fly in focus? Okay, that looks good. A little white like this, I like that. It should be seen also underneath it's you can do a good classic fly and put your jungle cocks like this but if you put them out a little bit like this they will also be seen from the fish perspective okay cut it off and uh, looking good okay so looking at our old stuff um uh, it's a big difference and uh, perhaps you can say that our tying improved but uh, there's nothing to give motion but I like as you know I like my flies to be drop formed and to move as much as possible the TTT will open up uh, but I need something to to put uh, some action on and those of you watching my tying no i love these feathers it's the peacock uh, the ostrich body feathers and i can uh, like i'm gonna do now i can use two of those and i will look so i have the best part and i'm gonna tie that in strip it one side and uh, create that little triangle and tie it in here and uh, it's good to have when you have two fiber <coughs> two feathers to wind one feather one way and the other one the other way and i'll will put on this and it will probably be two turns but remember when you tie on big diameter like this two turns is needs quite a bit of feather which when you tie with these uh, fairly stiff feathers you will have to be a bit brutal and pull and push and make sure that you get it tight you don't want to have any material that can move on the fly Okay, <clears throat> little bit of action. Let's do one more. 
and when I'm adding I'm gonna add a black one here I'll try to make that one a little shorter and um, maybe I should say a well, while but, but this it's really hard to get the quality uh, uh, ostrich but we actually there's a new a lot of new things happening in the company but you know we have our 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 packs where we have uh, 10 colors 100 feathers and uh, we are now shortly starting to do this bit messy here we're gonna do the 10 feather packs same fantastic quality and um, many people asked us for this we're gonna do it on on a few of our materials and we are actually also uh, introducing what we call SNS which is Cellar Natural Series with uh, also some hair um, but um, um, perhaps two weeks from now we'll have the introduction it's all here and uh, getting labeled and I think that will help a lot of you that ask us about where to get these good natural materials too it's easier with synthetics it's always the same natural materials is a bit more tricky okay talking uh, I'll just tie in this black feather and I wind it on and I will do this three turns on this I think to get a little more black a little heavier and also three turns on the finer diameter because I now move down to the extra small means uh, about the same amount of fibers as I put on the two turns of purple diameter bigger diameter you need more feather okay so here we go fantastic motion and uh, put those messy flies away and we're gonna put on a turbo and uh, those of you following us know that I most of the time put a, a micro on. I'm going to put an extra small on today to make this fly be even fatter. Uh, these are pointing out a little bit. I think I'll just put a turn of thread over those before I'm going to uh, go over with my glue like that and uh, this glue bottle seeing its best a little bit of support I can put a little glue on there and I think it'd be okay and uh, then I just press this down press it down tight no knots not necessary take that away and I always take the fly other device before I finish this then I can press it down even harder pull the fibers away use support and cut about two three mil blue lighter hope you think that's okay on this blue black and purple fly and I melt it down Getting a nice little hole there and um, the way I prefer my flash wings is this. This is now ready. Look how wide this fly is and also how good taper we have. Even if this is flash it will be very translucent. It will slim down together with the hackles and it will create a nice little drop form. 
Is this the perfect color for a uh, uh, flash wing? I don't know, but uh, I was going to tie an orange one, but uh, our new flash was not ready. This is only samples. It would look a little bit different like than this, but uh, okay. Mickly blue flash wing. So how to fish this? You can fish it with a loose body here. You can take a bit of uh, black or phosphor or whatever uh, tubing and put on. But a fly like this that you want to have bulky, I prefer to do the, this with a loose body. So I'm going to tie you a body too. And it's very simple. I will use a black medium and uh, as always, I'll try to keep the length of the tubing down so I can get the hook to be quite in the center of the fly. I don't want the hook too far back. Uh, then, let's see what we have here. I will put an extra small on to here again. You can easily tie this without the cone in the front uh, but uh, looks a bit more fancy if you do a cone you can use any color of cone uh, like that and then we need a bit of mirage tie in the mirage and actually mirage on black is my absolute favorite the shine that comes from winding the mirage over a black wing, a black body is super nice. Um, I use it on many of us and on a lot of my blackish greenish flies. Okay, there we go. And I'm then gonna add on this uh, tail and uh, uh, I will use Crasper in a very hot orange color. I prefer the little darker uh, orange and I taper and cut this before I tie it in and then I can do a little bit after I tie it in too. Just taper it down so I get that nice little tail. I would say the only thing this do is that it adds fluorescent to the fly. Tie it in, make sure to back down the thread of the mirage so you don't get any thread um, uh, seen. I then, instead of cutting like this, I cut it like this to get it uneven, meaning that when I tie the body, uh, when I tie this down it will disappear better than without uh, than if I cut it straight like this I will get a little hump that I don't want okay uh, I put on a ribbing and uh, it's gonna be silver the best contrast you get is silver against black and on a fly like this I prefer that and then I do the same silver as the rear part of the body let's tie it in make sure I cover now the thread and pull hard and overlap this so I get a nice little tip ring on this body I actually hate bodies where the rear half is thicker than the front part this is maybe even it's better if it grows a little bit I would say and then we are putting some dubbing on and I think there should be uh, some Mickey glitz same material as I have in the dubbing brush and uh, I just um, put this on and I'll be pretty brutal with this. Put a lot of stuff on here. And 
to make it even it's easier to do just a little bit at a time and wind it back and cross over and build this up it's uh, important that you get enough otherwise you start brushing and uh, it will be too little and you should also look at proportions to, to put a very thin body onto such a broad flashy fly is not maybe what you want and I go all the way to the front and I can actually put a little bit of uh, tubbing onto the extra small there body hackle and I will use just a plain black uh, cock sackle just to add also a little um, volume to this fly and it will also help holding the flash away from the body and I as you probably heard me say I always start with one or two turns here before I back down really big feather will create quite a good little volume to this fly take the hollow braid trim it down and uh, you know you can trim this down to be very very narrow on a big fly like this I don't need to trim it down that hard crossing over the other side doing this is a full body I do five and I tie it in and I will back it down and secure this and cut it off Just pull the scissor up and pull it over the braid. Of course you need to have a sharp scissor. Okay, and uh, any cone. Let's see what we have. It's quite a mess here. Uh, I will have to take this little box and uh, why not if I'm gonna use a cone you don't need to use a cone you can just glue this but the cone it helps protect the thread a bit so uh, uh, and it makes it look a little more fancy i'll put it on sometimes a little glue you can see this bottle seeing its best pull it down cut it off and um, i prefer to brush a bit when I have the fly in the vise, it's easier. If you want to brush it harder, you can brush it harder afterwards. And uh, you get some of these fibers to mix with the hackle here. Get a little more volume to it. Take it out, hold these fibers back. Use support and two, three mil. The smaller the cone, the less plastic I normally melt down. On these micro cones you don't need that much. And you create a nice little hole there. And don't touch it before it it's getting stiff again. Okay. Look at this. Does it look good? I think it looks good. If there is one or two that you think will tangle with the hook, you can just take those away. And the way I fish this is that I put this onto the leader, and I put the body onto the leader, and I tie on my hook. I get many questions on this, how to fish the loose fly. And uh, the hook is not loose, it's connected to the body and the body will slide down inside the TTT like this and as you can see 
the way I see if I can hold this the way I done this the hook will be here in the center of the fly well Mickey blue flash wheel nice fly um, I fished a bit of flush wings last year. I'm gonna fish a bit more flush wings this year. And uh, the reason for that is that we created our own flush wing flush that I think will hold up good with the underwing. See how this will not collapse down to the hook. It will tangle less. And also the dubbing brush will help create a bit of flashy volume and a flashy hackle underneath here. And um, sometimes when I tell you do these films for you, we shut the camera off and uh, I would tell you that that fly was not good enough for me to fish. But uh, this was, I'll be happy to fish this. Back on the Alta this year, maybe the Mickey Blue Flashwing will be a good fly there. Okay, and um, as always, let's see what we have. Oh, we have a, a little organizer here or, and a little uh, SOS wallet, but we also have the pattern pack and uh, we uh, the pattern pack this year this time also consists of materials that you really can't buy somewhere else our flush and our dubbing brushes and uh, the underwing and um, there's a little interesting I would say maybe this time and um, Thank you for buying these packs and thank you guys that are subscribing to the packs. I think that's a really cool little idea. It was Jakob's idea and uh, we have many people around the world doing that. So, okay, I'll go back to the coffee and the fight for the wild salmon cup. Tie a few more flies and um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, that you if you haven't try flash wings there's a million ways to tie a flash wing this is the way i prefer to do it and um, we'll be back in a month time uh, with something totally different and uh, thank you very much for watching and stay strong and high on